Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel and this is another new show that I have called Top Dot Man Tuesday Reviews uh, whatever you want to phrase it as but this is two of the reviews where I watch something and then basically come and review it which you kind of like a verbal review you know but I ain't want to stretch all the words out like that it's kind of basically I watch something then I come and give you a little oversight of what I seen. So tonight I'm bringing y'all The Lion King, the remake. I may have got the, the little cartoon pickup, but um, I'm talking about the remake. Now, I have to say to somebody I doubted in that movie, which was Beyonce, because I'm not a heavy fan of Beyonce, but she did a good job in that movie. I give it to her. Um, so you got that. Um, but overall, for me, the movie had the appeal of when it was when we was kids basically and seeing it in real life was it, it was somewhat amazing to actually see the cartoon transformed in the in the real life you know and with the lions and with the timon and puma basically if you watched it as an adult and but you watched it through the lens of a kid it made the movie even better because it was like basically going to the theaters and watching the animated Lion King all over again. But it had a different appeal to it because it was real world. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Me, when I was at the theaters, I seen a lot of parents with their kids there, which was a good thing, you know? And a lot of parents, mostly all of us, we knew the song, each and every song. And most of the kids was like, wow, all these parents know the lyrics to this, this movie right here. Like, this is crazy. This must be something actually that was concrete. Yes, The Lion King to me um, brought back the nostalgia. It, it helped people realize once again what The Lion King meant to them in that moment in time that they saw when we was younger. Because when I seen it when we was younger, I thought it was the be one of the best animated movies ever created. You know what I'm saying? Still do to this day. Um, one thing about that movie that kind of I didn't want to see again was as everybody the death of Mufasa this time it hit harder because it was more real life so it was like actually watching the lion version of James Earl Jones die again and I didn't want to see that you know what I'm saying I'm glad that, that they turned off all the graphic parts of that because it was for kids they did that in the cartoon as well and all that good stuff I'm, I'm glad that they did that you know that that helped with the traumatization again but besides that that movie went in like I give um Timon and Puma Seth Rogen and, and Billy Ike I think his name was if I'm butchering his name my fault y'all leave it in the comments um they did a wonderful job Seth Rogen set it off so big ups to Seth um Donald Glover did an excellent job to me um I don't know who did the voice of young Simba but they did a decent job, and they sounded a lot like Jonathan Taylor Thomas when he was younger. So that was a good, that was a good one. Um, as I said before, Beyonce did a good job as Nala. Um, I don't know which one Alfie Wood it was. Um, I know Alfie Wood's voice. No, I, yes, she was. She was a hyena. Got it. Okay, she did an excellent job. Um, the uh, Mufasa's wife. Whoever she was, I got, I got to, you know, I got to people down. She did, they did an excellent job. Like the whole cast did, they thing on that man. I'm glad that um, I didn't listen to the deterbers and everybody else that was saying, oh no, the Lion King ain't as good as it was, and this, that, and the third. And I also heard that people had a problem with the transition song. It's a transition song. It, it could, the, the most of the transitions in the Lion King was just African hymns and kind of beats you know um up tempo nice sounding beats that's that's what it was that's what the lion king was the lion king was a feel good sing along um song about a young man that had to grow up the hard way and learn to be a king 
instead of getting it handed down to him because as we've seen in the movie he got it um simba got his his whole kingdom and his pride basically handed to him because he was the only son of mufasa you know so right then and there he's a prince his dad ended up dying early so now he's the king you know what i'm saying it, it just showed the story of an embattled king that went out into the world found his way smoothed out all the rough edges that he had then went back to his kingdom as a true king and built it up from where it was supposed to be um even though his uncle's car destroyed it and i like to give a shout out to whoever played his car they did an excellent job as well you know just everybody everybody in there i give props to everybody that did the movie from the director on down to the costume designer Y'all did y'all thing, man. So I give y'all big ups for that, man. Anybody that I want to go see that movie, y'all go see that movie because it was interesting. It was nostalgic. It was a learning. Even the different parts were still unique enough to the movie that there they weren't out of place. So big ups to everything that it took to put that movie together because y'all did y'all thing on that and. My thoughts on The Lion King is that I will most definitely recommend it to anybody that has never seen The Lion King, which if you've never seen The Lion King, smack yourself three times and then go watch The Lion King and then go watch the, the live action Lion King. Um, anybody who has already, such as myself, has seen The Lion King and just want some nostalgic value, y'all go peep that movie out too because you'll get your nostalgia. You know, while you there, I said nostalgia. <laughs> you get your nostalgia, you know, when you go see the movie, man. And it's, any age can see it. It's age appropriate. Um, it's really, really good, y'all. Like, I don't know too much more I can say about that. Like, I enjoyed it because as a hard movie critic, uh, it's only certain things that I enjoy. And it's certain things that I just watch and just be like, all right, and forget about it. Like, the day or two after me watching just because it was just something that I probably wanted to see and then I seen it and I was like ah nah the Lion King the animated version is the one that will stick with you for life and this one for kids of a different age and the kids that didn't see it like we were able to see it back in the day when we was kids and they got to see it now I bet that would make them want to go see the cartoon version because the cartoon version is just a lighter it's a lighter note of what we've seen in the movie theaters. And big ups, man. Once again, y'all did y'all thing. I want to congratulate y'all for doing y'all thing. That movie is probably going to make a billion plus dollars and be one of the highest rating movies, of course, of all time. But they deserve it. And that's all I got to say about that. But once again, y'all, if y'all got something um, that y'all want to send in, a topic or something like that I don't mind you know what I'm saying I don't mind um, putting up topics I don't mind talking about you know reviewing other people's stories and music and all of that stuff I really don't so y'all can leave a comment a link on um, a comment or a link in the comment section on here you know and I'll check it out I'll contact y'all let y'all know what it is and y'all can let me know if y'all want me to go through it make it you know what i'm saying i ask people permission because i think that's the way to go so until next tuesday i would like to thank y'all for tuning in to the very first episode of i almost forgot the name of the show but i didn't tuesday reviews <laughs> i will catch y'all later also i do most of these with no script most of this is all off the top of the dome i usually do scripts inside my head so when you hear me like pause and stuff, I'm basically gathering myself so I can come to y'all with, you know, intelligence and, you know what I'm saying, stability, things of that nature. So, you know what I'm saying, don't mind that. I get the scripts and all that soon, but until then, I got it all up here. So, you know what I'm saying, work with me. But thank y'all for joining. And I would like to tell y'all, one love, that's what it is. I'll let y'all next week. Peace.